PhotoP is a web-based photo and graphics editor. It's free to use and is supported by ads. In this video, we'll take a closer look at the Move tool. It's located in the Move and Selection area of the toolbar. The tool is represented by an icon. The icon has an arrow in the bottom right corner. This means there are other tools behind it. When you long press on the icon, you'll see the Move tool option plus the Artboard tool option. With the Move tool selected, you can select objects and move them by pressing on the object and dragging. However, you'll be unable to select or move any object if its layer is locked in the Layers panel. Once the layer is unlocked, the object can be selected and moved freely. You can make multiple selections by holding down the Shift key while making your selections. You can also press and drag over an object to make a selection. And you can drag over multiple objects to combine selections. Here I'm dragging over all three objects. And here I'm dragging over just two. Objects on different layers can be selected by clicking on the layer. You can also select multiple layers by holding the Shift key as you select the layer. You can make a copy of an object by holding the Alt key and selecting the object. Let's rearrange these objects so they are slightly harder to identify. Let's pretend that the yellow object is hidden behind multiple layers. We can find that layer by hovering over the common area, then right-clicking to see a list of the layers below. When we choose yellow, it is selected and more easily located within the group. You can also constrain the movement of an object to a perfect straight line, both horizontally and vertically. To move it horizontally, click on the object while holding the Shift key, and it will only go left or right. To move it vertically, click on the object while holding both the Shift and Control keys, and it will only move up or down. This is the Option Bar. Right now it's showing the options for the Move tool, because the Move tool is selected. First on the Option Bar is the Auto Select option. When the Auto Select option is checked, you can select objects by simply clicking on them. And as shown before, you can move them around the canvas by pressing and dragging them. But if the Auto Select option is unchecked, you can neither select or move any object directly. In order to select an object, you'll need to select the layer first. Then you'll be able to move it. The same rule applies no matter what object you want to select. First you need to select the layer it's on, then you'll be able to move it. So for convenience, I recommend checking the Auto Select option. To manage multiple layers, you can group them into a common folder. Simply shift-click the layers one by one. Then create a new folder from the bottom menu. The new folder is shown in the layer bar, and inside it are the red, blue, and yellow layers. You can still select any layer inside the folder and move it independently. That's because the layer option is selected on the top menu. If we change that to folder, then try to move an object, it will not move independently. Instead, the entire folder will move as a group. I recommend beginning any project with layer selected. Next is the Transform Controls option. With this checked, when you click an object, markers will surround the object. You can move it as usual by pressing on it. But if you press on a corner, you can drag and change its size. And if you press and drag outside the markers, you can rotate it. When Transform Controls is unselected, you can still choose an object, but it will not show the boundary markers. So for convenience, I recommend checking the Transform Control option. Next in line is Distances. When this is checked, the dimensions of the selected object are displayed in pixels. And the vertical and horizontal distances from the canvas edge are also displayed. The distances are displayed in real time. So as you move the object, the measurements change accordingly and can help you precisely position the object. I typically don't select this option unless I'm fine-tuning an object's position. Next comes the Set of Alignment Options. 
To use these, you'll need to have two or more objects in different layers selected. To demonstrate, I'll start by selecting the red and blue squares. The first option will align the objects to the left side of the selection. In this example, the blue square simply moved in a straight line to the left. I'll select both objects again. The next option will center both objects horizontally inside the selection. You can see that both objects moved horizontally. I'll select both objects once more. The next option will move them towards the right side of the selection. This time, it was the red object that moved horizontally to the right. To demonstrate the last horizontal alignment option, I'll select all three objects. This option creates equal horizontal gaps between the three objects. It's a helpful option when editing multiple layers, particularly text layers. Next are the vertical alignment options. These are similar to the previous horizontal options. I'll select two objects to demonstrate their effect. The first option will align the top edges of both objects. In this example, the red square moved vertically to the top edge. I'll select both objects again. The next option will center both squares vertically. You can see that both squares move to achieve this alignment. I'll select two layers once more. The next option will align the squares to the bottom edge of the selection. In this example, only the blue square had to move. And to demonstrate the last option, I'll select all three objects. This last option creates equal vertical gaps between the three objects. PhotoP doesn't offer an option to align objects to the edges of the canvas. But you can sometimes work around this by adding a rectangle image to the background and including it in your selection. To demonstrate this, I've added a rectangle to the project and I've moved it to the bottom of the layer menu. Now I'll include it in my selection by holding the shift key and selecting the layers I want to align making sure it's part of the selection. Then I'll choose the Move tool from the toolbar to open the alignment menu. Now when I align the selected objects, the results are different to the previous outcome. The three objects appear to align to the edges of the canvas, but in fact they are really aligning to the edges of the rectangle. This workaround is a solution for all alignments except for the last horizontal and vertical alignment options. When finished, just remember to hide or remove the layer from your project. And that's the Move tool in PhotoP. I hope it's helpful. If you'd like to see more content like this, learn more about PhotoP. Subscribe to my channel or watch one of my other videos. Thank you.